people, this is my mom's show where she talks about us. We give her the things that we give y'all the show. <laughs> Get Cody, here you come. Most ignorantest trucks on my cul-de-sac. And I just be like, why? Tell me why. Like, what was the reason? Um, hey guys, happy Monday and things. Welcome to season 17 of Cozy Womb Podcast. And, um, this is episode four. Is it? This is not episode four. I'm lying. This is for April 4th. Okay. For some parents, this week is the spring break for the kids. Um, for North parents, up top parents, probably not. But um, y'all see the title. Hey mama, I'm focusing on mamas today. Okay, learn how to use these tools too. And I'm focusing on the moms that might be in the house solo, without a partner, without a man who is used to using tools or a woman that's used to using tools and you're there by yourself with them kids. God bless you because I know the struggle. What's the easiest choice you can make? Window instead of middle seat? Picking a vendor who sends a great gift basket? Outsourcing business tasks you hate? What about selling with Shopify? Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real-life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try. Go to shopify.com slash try now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash try. But you have to understand that we live in a day and age where men who were known to, you know, handle tools, have tools, um, have a toolbox. Um, that's, that's really rare, okay? And it's rare for men in their 40s to even know the right tools or how to use them. And it's rare for men who are in their 20s and 30s today to do handiwork. Like... They gonna call somebody to come do handiwork, which is unfortunate, but that's reality. And most of the males that we have now that are in their 20s and 30s probably were never taught how to use tools. They were probably raised by a mom who never taught them how to use tools, or she never well, she was she was never taught how to use tools. So now we may be single with kids. And we may not have a family handyman. We may not even know how to use tools. Most furniture today comes with Allen keys that come with it. Um, But it's always good to have your own personal set of Allen keys that are different sizes, just in case you lose something. And I just feel like moms, we got to know how to use a hammer, screw in things, put furniture together and more without sourcing it out all the time. I'm not saying it wouldn't be nice if you had help to put that furniture together, but it's perfectly fine to know how to do it yourself. I'm not saying always do it yourself regardless of who offers to help. I'm just saying to save money and to save time, if you know better, you do better. So let's talk about some tools that mamas should learn how to use on their own. Welcome to Cozy Moon Podcast. Yay! Hey there, I hope you're enjoying the show. My name is Shan and this is Cozy Moon Podcast. We get to take a little break. And I want to tell you about a few things that's going on for Cozy Moon Podcast. One, 
All of the old episodes of Cozy Woman Podcast from season one up until now will be going on an exclusive backlog where only subscribers that are on Red Circle will be able to access. So all of the old episodes from season one, two, even the seasons that weren't numbered when I was starting out in 2018, you won't see on your mainstream podcast platforms like Apple or Spotify or Radio Public or Podbean. It's not that I'm deleting them, I'm putting them on exclusive to make room for the upcoming episodes. I am currently in season 15. I haven't started working on 16. I don't know what that focus is going to be, but for now, I just wanna make room and uh, make it easier for you guys to scroll through and find the episodes that are most current. Unlike other indie podcasts, I do like to stay up to date and stay consistent with the podcast so people don't assume, oh, maybe she stopped recording or maybe she stopped doing this show because I always see as a podcaster, as a creator, that podcasts have lasted an episode in 2020 or 2019, but they're still keeping the name on these platforms and they're um, it's kind of like they're stalling out Maybe life happened or maybe they don't want to do it anymore, but it just becomes like this sea of dead podcasts. So I just want to make space for the most current episodes. Also, if you are interested in getting some new Cozy Womb gear, I did update the Cozy Womb podcast gear on the Cozy Womb shop with Teespring. So you can order um, whenever you like. If you go on www.shambypodden.com, you will see all of the podcasts and all of the shops, including Mama's Cozy Closet on the shop list. So if you're interested in looking for some new gear, t-shirts, hoodies, um, whether it's you know tank tops or just mugs, just to freshen it up, they're all on there. They're all available to you. My books did go on sale on lulu.com for podcasting, the journals that you can write in. You can basically do all of your fresh ideas in. It's available on lulu.com. They are not on sale any longer, but they are still available to you to be shipped to your door. So I appreciate everybody supporting the show. I appreciate everybody leaving reviews. And if you are interested in calling in and just giving a bit of feedback or have any questions, you can always call 770-284-8175 and I will answer any of your questions. You can also find me on TikTok at Shambi Potted. Now let's get back to the show. Here we go. Back to the show. Back to the show. Now, let's talk about the things that I've put together thus far, or the things that I've learned to put together thus far solo. Now, I am the only girl of five older brothers, and I grew up in a house with my dad up until I was eight, and then after that, it was just my mom and my youngest brother and me living from apartment to apartment to apartment to eventually a house, and my mom was one of 11 kids. She corrected me the other day. She says, not 13, it's 11. One of 11 kids is still a lot of kids for one woman to have, and she was very like hands on with furniture, upholstery, sewing, um, screw screwing things in, uh, bolting things. Like it was not, oh, you're a girl, you don't do this. It was like, let me show you how. Okay, so for me, I'm super comfortable getting new furniture and putting it together myself. Getting a new bed and putting it together myself. Getting a new dresser and putting it together myself. Getting a new desk, putting it, you you know you. So I'm a very handy mom. And the things that I've put together is my canopy bed, my kid's bunk bed that came in like a million pieces that I did feel defeated once I saw all the pieces. I put two dressers together by myself, um, one multi-plant stand, one patio set together by myself, um, two desks with a man's help, with no man's help or input, okay? Not because they didn't offer it, but because I didn't feel like it was necessary. I felt like I was fully capable of doing it myself. Now, not to be confused with 
oh, I need help just because I'm a single mom. That doesn't really go together necessarily all the time. Not all moms are begging for a man to be in her life because she needs to put things together. That is not how this works, okay? Single men equate to, oh, you need me, you know, uh, single men, when you ask them for help and they find out you're single too, or men in general, whether they're single or not, and you need help, they take it as, oh, vagina comes with this. It does not include vagina offerings. No, I asked you to fix something for me. I asked you for help you offered, but there's no vagina on the menu that comes with fixing this, sir, just because I'm a single mom, right? So a lot of things I just do myself. I might ask my brothers, hey, can you come by and look at this toilet? They're going to tell me yes. That's going to be like a month and a half wait for them to do what they need to do. So um, my brother did fix my toilet. I bought all the pieces for the toilet kit to be fixed, and he did fix it two months later. I'm still waiting for him to come with a tool to unscrew the faucet so I could put my uh, filter on it. It's been four months. What's the easiest choice you can make? Window instead of middle seat? Picking a vendor who sends a great gift basket? Outsourcing business tasks you hate? What about selling with Shopify? Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real-life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million orders stage, Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell. Wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash try. Go to shopify.com slash try now to grow your business, no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash try. When you visit Arizona, time is measured in moments, not minutes. Like the moment your work stress disappears as you kayak through the canyons. Or the moment you discover the life-changing effects of prickly pear chocolate. But nothing beats the moment you see the Grand Canyon for the very first time. Visit a new state of mind. Learn more at hereyouareaz.com. Like, the, and that's the reality of asking men to do things. So it's just better for moms to learn how to do it themselves. Or you can pay a stranger to come do it for probably hundreds of dollars. So yes, I educate myself on tools. So the basic tools that all moms should know is your basic hammer, measuring tape, and you can use your iPhone and measure things in your home. There is a setting on your iPhone for that. A drill that's rechargeable, have that. Screwdriver set, have that. Pliers, have that. Know what it looks like, okay? That is key. Um, a staple gun, AKA a quick fix. My mom always had a glue gun in the house with glue sticks and a stapling gun to put upholstery stuff together because she would do upholstery for a lot of people. Um, Allen wrench set, it comes in different sizes. Women need to know what that is. When it comes to the mini screwdrivers, they're very handy, especially if you have like glasses and stuff and you need to fix things that are small and like tucked in. I hate when the girls get toys and it's toys that can only be replaced um, with a battery if you unscrew it and it's a very small screw. But I have all the sizes of screws up in here, so that's not an issue. I have all sizes of batteries up in my house, so that's not an issue. Do I wanna buy them and use them? No, but I do I keep them on hand? Yes, okay? A flat head requires more effort to screw in things, but some things just require a flat head, okay? A star head, AKA Phillips, that's the one that looks like a star on the point. You need to know that. You need to have a plier set, electrical tape, a drain clearer, that little plastic thing that you stick in the drain. When you pour the liquid stuff in the drains, um, it's not healthy or good for your drains. I talked to a professional plumber. Shout out to Nuts and Guts Podcast. Um, 
you know, <laughs> Paco, Black Paco, he be giving me the tips and the tricks, okay? So he said, don't use that Drano stuff because it ends up messing up your drains. Just get little a little snake that you keep in your house. You could get them like six in a pack on Amazon for like $9 or $7. Very handy. I keep them under the sink because I have hair. Anya has hair. Ari has hair. And we have different types of hair. And I wash their hair and it goes down the drain. So every once in a while, I try to clear the drain as much as possible. Um... There are other sizes of screwdrivers and tips like the square top called the Robertson tip designed to prevent stripping and damaging on the screw. Haven't seen it here. Probably something you see in like Canada um, that people use. Um, But mostly in the United States, we use a flat head or a Phillips head, which is like the star head. Moms need a leveler, especially when you're hanging stuff. I have a lot of pictures and artwork in my house. So I use a leveler when I'm putting up stuff. I have shelving in the bathroom. I use a leveler to make sure it's straight. Um, You need a first aid kit, first and foremost, okay? I have a first aid kit in the hallway closet. You need a putty knife to cover holes and you need putty, especially when you're touching up paint or you're moving out of your apartment or house to cover up the holes before you paint it over. You need a putty knife that's flat, could be plastic or could be metal, and you sand it down to make it flat and it looks like the hole never existed, okay? Uh, Hot glue guns, my mom's favorite, okay? Puts things together, quick fix. A stud finder will help you lessen pointless holes in your wall where there's a metal plate in the wall. So a stud finder basically finds the metal plates and tells you where not to put the hole. Um, I've never had to use a hacksaw, but it cuts through PVC pipes, the white plastic pipes, that's what they're called. It cuts through metal and it cuts through wood. So that's a good... Um, saw that I have on hand. A claw hammer, okay? Do you know, or, well, I did know that there's two type of hammers, but I didn't pay attention to it. So a regular hammer, it has like a flat back and just the hammer part at the front. A claw hammer has like a claw that curves on the back with like a slit in the middle to take out nails. I do like that hammer because when you put nails in things and it gets really hard and you can't pull it, it's perfect to get that leverage up on that nail and get that thing out. Okay, so know what that is. Get you one. Um, get a good plunger, okay? Use the money and get a good plunger. Not that one that you get from the dollar store that caves in when you're trying to clear a toilet, okay? That stuff is annoying. You'll be there pumping for their life, okay? WD-40 is good for squeaks. It loosens lug nuts that are stripped, um, especially when you keep putting together and taking apart things, things strip. So uh, I like to use WD-40 on like the the car doors and the trunk whenever it starts squeaking because it gets rusty from the rainwater and stuff. Just spray it on there and you won't have to hear that noise again. When your door hinges get like... Or your cabinet corners. WD-40, save your life, okay? Um, Keep your manuals for when you move and have to put things together again. A lot of people get in that habit of throwing away a lot of stuff, but you're going to need that. If you're going to keep that furniture, you're going to need that. So for moms, today's episode was for you to get your tool kit together, your tools, um, your screwdrivers, and um, your drills because... You shouldn't have to always need to call somebody to do the basic things in your home just because you're a single mom. You should also be knowledgeable about the tools that you need in your everyday home. My name is Shan. My name is Shan. This is Cozy Womb Podcast. And that is what I have for you today on this Monday morning. Enjoy your spring break with your kids. Enjoy your week. And I will catch you guys Friday. Mm -hmm.